Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a picnic and we thought we would bring you guys along. All right, Kyle, what are you eating? Just a pulled pork sandwich. Just plain and dry. <laughs> some watermelon and pulled pork and some nightshade free barbecue sauce. Um, his dad made that and it's really good. I usually hate nightshade free stuff, but this one is really good. So I will link said recipe. I'm gonna ask him for it and just put it in the description if you're nightshade free. It actually tastes like barbecue sauce, unlike a lot of other nightshade substitution recipes. <laughs> we just finished our food and we're about to play some bocce ball. I didn't know it was called that, but I've played this game before. So the name of the game is bocce ball. And you grab it's the- It's pronounced bocce. It's a bocce ball. You grab the balls bocce. and you throw it. Well, you throw this little white ball first. And then you have to throw the other balls and whichever ball is the closest wins. Yes, throw it away from the house. Ready? Yes. All right. That's where we're starting. That's where we're gonna start. Yep. I'll just try to take the red ball, but I'm the red team. So rude. Okay, fine. Where's our throwing line? Um, just this magical line right here. And do it in line with that thing, the gray thing. So stand like right there. The power line? Yeah. All right. I'm going to throw it like a bowling ball and see how close I can get. All right, let's see it. Oh, wow. Those move a lot faster than I thought. Rip. Since she thinks it's so funny that I overthrew it, let's see how she does. a lot better than mine. Let's see it, Kyle. How did you throw it? Like, did you like flick yeah. your wrist back? Mm -hmm. I still overthrew it, like, really far. Are you sad? Yes, thumbs it up. Ball, watch and learn. Take two for Erica. Mm, that one was kind of weak, but I still think you're closer than my first one. <laughs> What do, you, what do you think? Is my black one closer than pole. your red one? Kyle or Erica? I think my black one's closer. At least it looks like it from the footage right here. Round three. Let's see it. All right. Oh, I overthrew We took it a bowling approach. Did Controversial. Did that bounce? I like hit that little mound of weed right there <laughs> and then shot to the right. Red team. Red team. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Red team. Boo. Hide me up, Kyle. If I lose to you in something, then I've lost my dignity. Which it looks like I might. Well, is not sexist? I just usually suck at games. Very bad. Except that dancing stuff. But I usually beat her at that, too. <laughs> and I'm more flexible than her. No, you're not. All right. Last one. Ooh, that was a good ending oh, one. Yeah, it was. Ooh. Ready? Red team. Let's see if okay. she can beat my black ball. Ooh, that Path was the worst one. Pathetic. <laughs> We're gonna have to check out which one is the worst one. So basically that was like our warm up round so his win doesn't really count. And we're gonna go up. <laughs> we're gonna go uphill now and go that direction. All right, throw it. I don't think you can make a, a short one. It's kind of hidden in the grass. <laughs> okay, so we both have one ball left, but both of these are really close. And I honestly am not sure which one's closer. You went underhand. Oh, Ooh, pretty good though. Pretty good. Good job. All right, time for Erica's last throw. Let's see if she can clutch. Eye on the prize. That was horrible. I can't believe you filmed that one. Best one, the only one we got on film too. But I'm pretty sure my red ball is the closest. I think it actually might be, so. Like one, say like 1.75 of my feet. Okay. And then one, Ooh, I think mine's closer. I think we're gonna go get a tape measure. We're gonna get a tape measure. The truth. From there 
to the beginning, it's a little over 20.5. 20.5, mine's gonna be less. Here? Oh my gosh. What is it? Yours is at like 19 and a half. It's I like win. one inch. Say it, you win, Erica. Nope. Say You're it. not including this one on your blog. No, say it, say that I won. No, I saw you kick it earlier. No, I did. Say that I won. Okay, I won that one. He just doesn't want to say it. I'll admit you won that one. I won. I won. I won a game for once. I never win games. I actually got my first cornhole yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. yeah, it was yesterday. My first time ever making it in the hole in cornhole was yes cornhole was yesterday. So, I finally won. Kyle, say that I won. I already did. <laughs> I threw this one super short to change up the game. So let's see who wins. You have to throw first. This is the want. deal breaker. So Kyle's ball hit the white ball. So we're pretty sure that that means he wins, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know, either. I don't know the rules. Like okay, so we didn't actually know how to play bocce ball correctly, but basically we're just playing whoever gets the closest. Boom. Ah, so, so don't judge our bocce ball rules. Um, but he won two games and I won one game I and I'm suck. feeling, he said I suck. You do. And I'm feeling kind of sad, but we're about to play another game. What are we playing, Kyle? Darts. We're playing darts and I'm going to probably still lose, but hopefully I'll win. So this is our fish. His name is Comet. He's about to eat his dinner. This is actually breakfast because I forgot to feed him. Kyle. He's fish, so cute. fish, fish, eat the fish. He's kind of old. We got him almost two years ago. He's a little red beta fish. He survived my car crash. Yes, he was in a car accident and he survived. I hit a coyote going 85 on the toll road and <laughs> no, Comet was unscathed. Look, it's still sitting there. He didn't oh, see it. I give him more? Yeah, give him one more. He's going to get so fat. So there he is. He's very cute. Also, this is his tank. It has a little Santa in there since he's one of Santa's reindeer. He has a little moss ball because he eats a lot of bacteria, some fake plants, and his little hidey hole rock because he goes in there whenever he's kind of scared. Say bye, Comet. <laughs> Kyle's going first. We don't actually know how to play this either. Well, I mean, I do know how, but we only have two good darts, so. Wow. She has, all she has to do is hit the board and she wins. Oh my god. Wait, that was a practice one. Let me do it one more time. Well, don't I get a practice nope. one? No. You gotta practice one with a broken dart. I win. I, I get a practice one. I get a read. <laughs> Let's see it. Is that a double or a triple? I don't know. I'm just gonna hit the middle. I hit the 12. It's like the 12th man. Kyle said he, um, that we're about to witness something great, so he better live up to that expectation. Okay. I won. This little thing fell off, and mine stayed on, therefore no. I won. <laughs> it was just this back tail thing, and no, it's because that's that, missing on there. That means I won. No. I won, fair and square. No. All right, so we're done playing games, and I am about to go through my emails because I ordered a few things because I'm going to Florida this weekend, um, and they're still not here, so I'm kind of disappointed, but I ordered two swimsuits from Cupshe. I ordered a Billy razor, which I'm really excited to try. I'm gonna be posting a like unboxing and try video, I guess, I don't know, um, because I'm really excited. I heard that it's like the best razor ever, and I love to test products so I will be posting a Billy Razor try on or I don't know not try on um, a Billy Razor trial video how would I say this Kyle I don't know I don't even know but basically I'm going to shave my legs with it and we are gonna decide if it's a good razor or not subscribe to her YouTube channel so that when she gets to 200 y'all can see her try to chew gum He's really excited about that. But yes, I will chew gum when I get 200 subscribers. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Okay, so I love Cupshe. I have a few swimsuits from them. So I ordered this blue geometric v-neck bikini. 
um, and I'm really excited to try it. It's like slightly high waisted, but I'm really short waisted, so I hope that it like kind of looks like a normal bikini plus like a little bit more coverage. And then I ordered this orange floral cutout one piece swimsuit, and I'm really excited because I love this like style, um, like with the little cutout, but I've never tried that before, so I'm excited to see what it looks like on me. So yeah, I ordered those two suits before I knew I was going to Florida, so if they don't come in, it's not Cup She's fault, but I really, 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 really hope they get here before Friday because I only have one swimsuit that fits me, and I would like to have change up options. And then I'm also waiting on these two swimsuits to come in because I'm a camp counselor this summer. So this first one has like donuts all over it and this other one has alpacas all over it. So I thought the kids would absolutely love those. If these come in first, maybe I'll end up wearing this to the beach. We'll see. Also, if you want me to do a try on haul of my cup she swimsuits, let me know, comment that down below because I feel like sometimes shopping online for swimsuits is a little scary, but I just really love cup she because they're really affordable and they're very good quality in my past experience. So I'm really hoping for good results with this order. But yeah, if you want me to try them on for you, please comment down below and maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm not the most body positive individual, but like maybe I'll do it. All right, well, Kyle's taking a nap before spike ball practice and I need to do my Chloe Ting workout for the day. I'm almost done with the Chloe Ting two week shred, so stay tuned for that video. I'm basically just giving you the layout for the month. But yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Bye.